The Manx Museum is 100 years old this year. It is home to an extraordinary collection of artefacts and archives that help tell the story of the Isle of Man and its people. To celebrate our centenary, we have curated a special exhibition and podcast, Museum 100, which will feature a kaleidoscope of treasures from our collections. My name is Emma Lecornu and I'm the Library and Archives Conservator at Manx National Heritage. Today I'm going to talk about a glass display bottle of Crown Invigorating Lavender Salts from Breary's Chemist Shop. Breary opened his shop in Douglas in 1840. By 1892 the business occupied an impressive three-storey building on Prospect Hill. This bottle is likely from around the mid-1800s. This is a satisfyingly large, thick bottle in a lovely bright green glass. The glass stopper lid is made in a crown shape. There is a label wrapped around the body of the bottle, a smaller label around the neck, and a small hazard label on the reverse side. The main label, printed in black ink, framed in a red border, reads Invigorating Lavender Salts or Salts of Lavender. These salts are the most agreeable deodorizer that exists. Take the stopper out a few minutes and the apartment will be purified with the air rendered strongly invigorating and refreshing. Sadly, part of this text is barely readable. The paper of the label had disintegrated, leaving the black ink text mostly intact, but at the edges the text has started to fall away with the surface of the paper. Paper conservation is not confined to the archives by any means, And as a paper conservator, I was able to assist in getting this bottle display ready by conserving these degrading paper labels. As well as the surface of the paper labels powdering off, the edges had become detached from the surface of the glass bottle. Labels like this are often coated with a material to make them smooth and shiny. It is likely that the coating on these labels was chalk based, creating a smooth white surface. This method was often used on posters as well. Over the years, the surface had started to degrade, forming a powdery layer, losing some of the information from the label. It's hard to pinpoint the exact cause, but it is likely to do with being kept in extremely damp conditions and the smooth coating on the paper has gradually blistered off, leaving an exposed layer of fragile paper fibres. For my treatment to stabilise this bottle for display, I started by reattaching parts of the label that were peeling off. For this I used a gelatin adhesive to reattach them to the glass. It's not easy to find a water-based archival adhesive that will stick to glass, but the gelatin proved to be very strong and could be applied warm, so it flowed under the label, creating a good bond when dry, without having to apply constant or heavy pressure. I used the same adhesive as a consolidant, which is a very dilute but strong adhesive applied to powdery or flaking surfaces to recreate the lost binder that once held the surface together. I applied this with a small brush directly onto the surface where it was absorbed and held the powdery surface in place. The most fragile parts are now stable and the remaining text should now stay where it is. The glass of the bottle itself was also cleaned removing general dust and grime and it is now gleaming proudly in the Museum 100 exhibition. 